Blinding lights shower the bridge of the ARV Stesina. The crew is nearly unmoving and perfectly silent, some merely turning towards the light, desperately hoping to disprove their assumption with a second glance. Unfortunately, our senses are right. The ARV Netarina was no more, turned into a hulk of searing metal. I was their captain, yet no more capable of fulfilling my duty than them. Attention! All nearby Astilian vessels. Under the laws of war, I am authorized and required to demand your surrender before initiating hostilities. Failure to respond within one minute will be recorded as a negative response, and you shall be engaged to the full extent of the ISS determines ability. A laughable demand. Especially considering the human vessel was a single cruiser-sized patrol craft, faced with the might of a fully reinforced Astalon task force. The task force response was not my core. The captain of the net arena had final say, though mine would have been much the same. We were ordered to move into effective range, while avoiding answering the determined's hail. The bridge had recovered somewhat from the shock of seeing the battleship go up in flames. But the pressure of atmosphere was now evident, as reality of our inadequacy against the still present human vessel overtook grief of the net arena's loss. My navigation officer took the liberty of powering up FDL drives, not that they'd be ready within several hours. Attention, all nearby Astilian vessels, your failure to answer our hails is considered a refusal of surrender terms. You have been marked as hostile non-compliant, and shall be subsequently engaged to the full extent of the determined's ability. Yet another laughable boast, though it appeared as if their words carried a hint of backing this time, as a series of incoming missiles were detected. Most different variations, with one carrying a significant amount of antimatter. Antimatter missiles are long being dismissed as far inferior to conventional explosive material due to their inherent volatility. Lacking any ability to penetrate armor, all missiles were designated as ineffective and subsequently relegated to point defense with zero evasive maneuvers. The missiles approached the net arena, staying in a semi solid formation intended on protecting the antimatter payload. Before point defense could start firing, a thundering screech rolled throughout subspace. The antimatter warhead seemingly detonated early, leaving a cloud of debris, dust and vapour originating from the missile swarm. Attention all nearby Asylum vessels. Given the destruction of your pursuing flagship, I am once again broadcasting an offer of surrender to any potentially compliant vessels. Responding will result in your vessel being marked as hostile compliant and boarded by surrender enforcement personnel. At this point, the human vessel must have been toying with us. My comms officer looked at me, silent yet clear in her intent. I nodded. Captain, one new contact with the debris cloud, fast, said my sensors officer, somewhat distressed. I quickly glanced at the sensor officer's screen. It was a cylinder of metal, extremely hot, and approaching the net arena at 6% the speed of light. Before I could muster a response, the projectile went through the net arena's unmatched armor, like paper. Cutting through the ships in size, it showed no signs of slowing down. Worse yet, the net arena had begun to crumble into itself as the escaping atmosphere had created a vacuum, resulting in a cascade of structural failures. The final nail in the Netarina's proverbial coffin was a reactor explosion, unleashing an immense amount of trapped energy that turned the insides into ionized slag and the outside white hot, shining like a dead star. My comms officer turned towards her console, grief barely concealed behind a diplomatic tone. This is the ARV Stensia. Secondary command vessel to the RV Net Arena. We surrender unconditionally, agreeing to any and all demands. The human commander looked to his second in command. Holy fuck, Joe. I can't believe that shit worked. Was that seriously all our missiles? Unless you got some spare duct tape, yeah. Still, we should have just run away. The fuck are we gonna do with a battle group's worth of prisoners? Right. Comms, contact the nearest patrol and request urgent backup and prisoner accommodations. Now. Lucky you're not being demoted for not knowing what a fucking Geneva Convention's called. <laughs>